Black Kinchompas are mainly used to get some quick range levels or to fight Kriara. Catching them will make you the most money from Hunter, together with some high hourly XP rates. One little detail, they are located above level 30 Wilderness. The price of one Black Chinchompa fluctuates between 2.5 and 3k, and on top of that, there is a small chance of receiving the pet, a chance of approximately 1 in 80,000. In order to catch Black Chinchompas, you will need to have completed the quest Eagle's Peak and have 73 Hunter. Having 43 prayer to enable protection prayers and like 70 plus in defense ups your chances of surviving in the wilderness. Although, having access to a high level total world or not playing when it's peak time might be interesting enough to encounter less peak airs. In this video I'm in a level 2000 world. Besides some box traps, I would suggest you to bring some other items as well. First of all some iron arrows or any worse arrows that are very cheap. So you can shoot off black chinchompas that run away. Um, you're not able to catch them. Also some defensive armor and I'm just using some cheap ass um, like Dragonite. For the rest an amulet of glory to teleport back. That's for the armor. Then for the inventory I would suggest you to bring uh, two Guam leaves, one grimy and one clean. Third is Swamp Tar because you will need 15 Swamp Tar uh, together with a um, Guam leaf to tick manip manipulate, uh, also a pestle and more to do so, uh, and I'm going to leave these at the bottom. Then for the rest some high level food, for example 4 brews and 4 sharks, you can also bring some prayer potions if you're low on prayer level, or if your prayer level is quite low. Let me organize this a little bit. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay. Also, I'm going to use an axe to use the canoe transportation system, which is just a little bit um, east of here. And an imp in a box, maybe two boxes or one box. And I'm going to explain or give you some more information on that in a minute. For the rest of the inventory, I'll be taking some box traps. And the plugins that I'm going to use are um, ground markers. And also, I'm going to highlight other players with the player indicators plugin. So, um, once you're in Edgeville, you want to go to the transportation system. By the way, for the quick prayers, I'm going to set up like from magic, also augury to boost my defensive and my magic defense. And you might want to use protect item if you have four items that are very um, that have. I value and you don't want to lose. Um, they're going to chop down the canoe, canoe station. You're going to shape in a waka. And we're going to transport, transport ourselves all the way up to level 35 wilderness. And you cannot depart from here. I'm using the uh, Amulet of Glory to Edgeville to come back. I'm going to battle and then all the way to the wilderness. And then you're going south to one of these spots and you can see there's all... Okay, they're doing a clue probably. There are also people doing clues and for the rest I'm using these two spots really. You can see I've already highlighted with the tile markers or the ground markers we're level 30 wilderness so I can teleport out very quickly and some more information on the imp in a box right now. An imp in a box is made by catching an imp with a magic box. You can buy magic boxes from the G or from the hunter shop in Yanil. The place I go to to catch imps is near the chasm of fire which you can go to very quickly with a fairy ring. The imp will agree to take two items or stacks, in this case a stack of chinchompas, to your bank in exchange for its freedom. However, it will refuse to do so if you are in combat, for example when you are being attacked by a peak hair, and you must also be located below level 30 wilderness. And I'm just going to use this shift button to highlight all of them that, that are going to spawn here. So that's one. Okay, so once you've highlighted all of the three spawn points, um, you can choose however you want to lay your box traps. You can put them around one specific spot, or you can divide them 
um, just for the three spawn points. Uh, if you want to lay them quicker, you can just click on Swamp Tower, Glum Leaf, and then just lay the trap. Otherwise, you will have one tick lower um, that you're going to lay your traps. Let's just try this method out for a few minutes. Okay, so I was averaging around 170k XP per hour, and once you think you are, or once you think you are carrying too much risk, you're going to the level 30 wilderness, and you're going to bank with the imp in a box. And you can choose a stack of black chinchampas, and now they are banked. And I have one. Um, I'm banking left, and you can just go back and go train further. I'm, I'm not going to bother and just teleport out to Edgeville. Also, uh, I thought using one specific spawn point, um, camping all, all the box traps there was more efficient or giving me better XP. So maybe you could get even more XP and there's even better guys out there uh, for some more efficient XP per hour as well. But I think this is just a lazy way or just a easy way, an easy way to get some good XP rates together with um, good money as well. So for every Chinchompa you will get 315 XP each. I'm going to grab the calculator and we're averaging, averaging around 175k divided by 315 is 555 Chinchompas per hour. And one Chinchompa is 2600 at the time. Um, so I would be making 1450 k GP per hour alongside, alongside the 175 k XP per hour as well in Hunter. If you have any more tips about this, you can leave them down in the comments. Also, if you want to participate in the videos giveaway, follow the steps on screen and I will see you in the next one.